how's it going? Well, I finally have cable internet here. It's great, and the first two months, because I got in with a special deal, the first two months are free, and it was free installation, and they're totally fine with me using the highest plan for the first three months, and then switching to a lower plan when it's no longer free. Hey, that's cool. But this here, this uh, YouTube official blog is not cool. This sucks. <laughs> They're using Weasley wording too. Oh, an update on our commitment to fight terror content online. Yeah, um, that's like Christian fundamentalists trying to pass an anti-gay bill and saying, well, it's just a religious freedom bill. Yeah, sure. <laughs> anyway. They're making it so controversial content won't be able to be found in a search. So that part's going to be like YouTube TV. And then if there is controversial content, you won't be able to leave comments on it. Yeah, so they're essentially turning YouTube into YouTube TV. I was really hoping they weren't going to do this. I think most people were hoping they weren't going to do this. This is, this is looking like the worst case scenario. I mean, I, I thought that they could do this. But I thought, man, I, I hope they're not going to be that nasty. But apparently they are. The worst part is when you look at more experts. Of course, our systems are only as good as the data they're based on. Over the past weeks, we have begun working with more than 15 additional expert NGOs and institutions through our trusted flagger program, including the Anti-Defamation League, really, the No Hate Speech Movement, and the Institute of Strategic Dialogue. These organizations bring expert knowledge of complex issues like hate speech, rad radicalization, and terrorism that will help us better identify content that is being used to radicalize and recruit extremists. And we will also regularly consult these experts when, uh, as we update our policies to reflect the new trends. And we'll continue to add more organizations to our network of advisors over time. Tougher standards. We'll soon be applying tougher treatment to videos that aren't illegal, but have been flagged by users as potential violations of our policies on hate speech and violent extremism. If we find that these videos don't violate our policies, but contain religious or supremacist content, they will be placed in a limited state. The videos will remain on YouTube behind an inter... Stitial, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, won't be recommended, won't be monetized, and won't have key features including comments, suggested videos, and likes. What are they going to consider supremacist content? Someone who disagrees with affirmative action? Someone who disagrees with quotas? You know, what? how far are they going to take this? Is it going to be just be something that well, if it's just focused on white people, you know, and the things that white people enjoy, is that going to be considered supremacist content? I mean, all the definitions that are going around, if you, if you go by, you know, the Evergreen State College kind of standards, I mean, get out of here, fly. Um, I mean, what, what's, that, what's, this, what's this going to do to YouTube? We'll begin to roll this new treatment out to videos on desktop versions of YouTube in the coming weeks, and we'll bring it to mobile experiences soon thereafter. These new approaches entail significant new internal tools and processes, and will take time to fully implement. Well, it's going to take time for people to uh, find a different platform. You know, I haven't been to VidMe in a while. I haven't been to VidMe since I started the move because, well, I don't have the app and. I really couldn't upload that much because Verizon's unlimited plan isn't quite as <laughs> unlimited for 4G as they like to say. Anyway, um, yeah, this is really disappointing. And I don't know, it just kind of seems... In, in this case, this really does seem like this is the end of what YouTube was. It's not going to be the end of YouTube, but it's going to be the end of what YouTube was. And people are going to have to find a different platform to talk about controversial subjects. <laughs>